the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Welcome everyone to a new skill of the TOEFL PPT structure section. Today we're going to talk about skill number 11 with you, Shadi R. Abusive. Now, today's skill talks about using adjective clause connectors correctly. Adjective clause connectors. Now, let's talk about an adjective clause. Before we talked about a clause, and, and let me start again by defining what a clause is. Now, look at this. We said many times that a clause is subject plus verb. Fantastic. So this is what we mean by a clause in English. Subject plus verb. So what's an adjective clause? An adjective clause is a clause that is used as an adjective. It's a clause that is used to describe someone or something. Let me give you an example here. Look at this one. I can say that the book that she read is great. Now when we look at this sentence here, we find that the book is a subject. Well, that's fantastic. So I've got the book as a subject. When I look at the main verb, the main verb is is actually fantastic. So I've got the book as the subject and I've got is as the main verb. Because that she read is just an adjective that is used to describe the book. So look at this. I can read the whole sentence without the adjective clause. I can say the book is great. Fantastic. Now what about the adjective clause? The adjective clause is that she read. Well actually it is used here in order to describe the book. So it is used as an adjective for the book. It is used as something like uh, adding information about the book. Let's analyze the whole sentence again. We've got the book as a subject. We've got is as a main verb. And we've got now the adjective clause that she read. What is it made of? We've got that, which is a connector. We've got she, which is a subject. And we've got read, which is a verb. Which means that inside the adjective clause, we need a connector and we need a subject and we need a verb. Now when we look at the word that is described by the adjective clause here, we find that the word is the book. And the book here is a subject. So this is an adjective clause that is describing a subject. Can we have an adjective clause that is describing an object? Yes, we can. Now look at this one. I read the book that she wrote. Fantastic. Now look at this here. I read the book that she wrote. Now I've got I as a subject. Fantastic. And I've got read, well actually as a verb. Well that's great. I've got the book. Uh -huh. And the book this time is an object. Fantastic. Now look at this. I subject, red verb, the book is an object. But it's an object that is described by an adjective clause. And what is this adjective clause? That she wrote. And this adjective clause is made of that, which is a connector, she, which is a subject, and wrote, which is a verb. Fantastic. So we say now, that an adjective clause can describe also an object. So it can describe a subject and it can describe an object and also it can describe an object of a preposition. An example about this one. I can say, I am worried about 
the book that she wrote. Now look at this, fantastic. I'm worried about the book that she wrote. Let's analyze it together. We've got I, that's a subject. And then we've got am, well that's a verb. And then we've got worried about, that's the preposition about here, okay? And then the book, what's wrong with the book? The book is the object of the preposition about. And it is followed by an adjective clause, which is that she wrote. Okay, interesting. So I am worried about the book that she wrote. So that she wrote is a clause about uh, is a clause describing the book which is an object of a preposition fantastic so this is an adjective clause so an adjective clause is a clause that is used to give information about another noun that is describing another noun and this noun could be a subject it could be an object and it could be an object of a preposition now here comes the question in the TOEFL test how are we going to be asked about adjective clause connectors now let me give you an example here of what we call mcq uh, questions or multiple choice questions and the question says the gift and selected for the bride was rather expensive the gift selected for the bride was rather expensive well that's fantastic and I've got some choices here I've got choice number one which is because number two was number three since number four which we fantastic and we've got to take one of these choices the gift selected for the bride was rather expensive and we've got four choices and we've got to choose one of them now let's analyze the sentence that we have on the screen first we've got the gift which is a subject that is very clear so the gift is a subject now what about selected well it is clear that selected is a verb. Let's give it the red color. So that's a verb. For the bride was, well, actually it is clear that was also is a verb. So here comes the question. One subject, two verbs, without a connector, which means that we need a connector. So let's have a look at this. We've got because, which is a connector. And we've got since, which is a connector and we've got which we which is a connector which is a connector so was cannot be the answer here why because was is only a verb so what's the problem I can't say the gift was selected for the bride was rather expensive because if I did this I will have you know like we still have two verbs in the sentence without a connector so can we say because the gift because selected that doesn't work because because after because we need subject and a verb and you can't say the gift because selected that's not logical you can't say that can we say since well actually since means because and because means since you can't say the gift since selected for the pride no you can't say that finally the only possible answer is which way why because you have the connector and the subject you want so you can say the gift which we selected for the bride was rather expensive. Now that's the right answer here. Let's give it a fantastic color. Okay, fantastic. So the correct answer here is which we selected for the bride was rather expensive. Fantastic. Now that's an example of the MCQ or the multiple choice question uh, that my faces in this kind of... Um, of TOEFL, which is the TOEFL BBT, TOEFL PBT. Now, let's move to the big thing. Let's move to correct or incorrect. 
And let's just start with this one here. I love this sentence so much. I just finished reading the novel. Whom the professor, whom the professor suggested for my book report. Fantastic. So I just finished reading the novel whom the professor suggested for my book report. I just finished reading the novel whom the professor suggested for my book report. Let's analyze this one together. Now look at this, we've got I here. Okay, that's it, this one. We've got I, which is a subject. Fantastic. That's cool. I've got finished, which is a verb. Let's give it a color. Let's make it, um, yes, a dark blue. So I just finished. I is a subject, finished is a verb. I've got the novel, which is an object. Let's give it another color. Well, that one will do. Fantastic. So, I just finished reading the novel. I subject, finished verb. The novel is an object. And then we've got whom the professor suggested for my book report, which means that this is an adjective clause. It's an adjective clause that is made of a connector. And then we've got the professor, which is the professor is a subject. And then we've got suggested, which is a verb. The question here, is the sentence correct or incorrect? When you look at it for the first time, you say that it is correct because you've got I as a subject, finished as a verb, and then the novel as an object. So that's great here. And then you look at the um, adjective clause and you find whom, connector, the professor, well, subject, and you've got suggested, that's a verb. But we say that it is incorrect. Why incorrect? Because the novel is something. And the connector that is used is whom, and whom is only used with people. But we can't use whom with novels we can't use whom with things we use whom with people now so here comes the question what can we do in order to make it correct i can add simply which or instead of which we can say that so look at this i just finished reading the novel which the professor suggested for my book report or i can say i just finished reading the novel that the professor suggested for my book report like i can put in instead of which i can put that now what are the connectors that are used okay for adjective clauses now let's say that we've got basically whom for people and then we've got which four things and then we've got fantastic that <coughs> which is for people and mm -hmm, and things for both together so I might ask what about who we say that who of course is used also with people but mainly these are the ones used in the TOEFL test most of the time now Let's have another question here. Another fantastic one. Look at this. Something like... We say, the movie... Which we watched... On table last night it was really frightening fantastic 
the movie which we watched on cable last night it was really frightening now we need to analyze this sentence together now let's have a look at this we've got the movie that's a subject and we've got which we watched on cable last night okay the whole of it is what we call an adjective clause a fantastic adjective clause it's an adjective clause that contains which as a connector and we've got we as a subject and we've got watched as a verb which means that this is very complete and then we've got it here and then we've got this verb which is was so is it correct or incorrect we say no this sentence is incorrect why because let's take the adjective close out i want you to have a look at this look at what i'm going to do now i'm going to take the adjective close out fantastic now let's read it the movie it was really frightening how many subjects do we have oh my god we've got the movie which is a subject and we've got it which is another subject so we have double subjects here an extra subject so that's a big mistake now let's move back to the case one more time uh -huh. flashback technique look at this the movie which we watched on cable last night it was really frightening now that's a mistake it's a mistake because we have an extra subject unneeded one which is it to make the sentence correct we take it away so the movie which we watched on cable last night was really frightening and in this case when we take the adjective close away and we read it it sounds great the movie was really frightening okay put it back no problem at all the movie which we watched in cable last night was really frightening now let's move to another example look at this one the story that you told me about Bob well that's a great one now let's discuss it together let's have a look here the story that you told me about Bob no oh, no that's great the story that you told me about Bob fantastic the story that you told me about Bob now let's analyze it the story that's a subject for sure it comes at the very beginning well that's amazing uh, and that you told me about Bob oh okay well that's what we call an adjective close let's give it this purple color I love it okay so the story that you told me about Bob now as usual let's take the adjective close out like we don't need it now look at this I'm taking it out what remains the story only a subject that is completely incorrect because you cannot have one subject in a sentence without a verb where is the verb let's put it back let's put it back this is not the verb there's no verb here someone might say told us of us sorry all of this is inside the adjective clause but there is no main verb in order to make it correct we, we need say something to like a verb so the story that you told me about Bob look at this one is true well that's fantastic here so in this case the sentence will become correct why let's do that together let me take the adjective close out and show you now the story is true that's a complete sentence that's an amazingly complete sentence okay so the story is true back the story that you told me about Bob is true so that you told me about Bob is an adjective clause used to describe the story and another sentence look at this one the men with whom were having the discussion The men with whom were having the discussion did not seem seem very friendly. The men with whom were having the discussion did not seem very friendly. Now let's analyze this together a little bit here. Now the men, fantastic, that's a subject, 
very clear the men that's cool now where is the uh, adjective clause well it's say that with whom we're having the discussion that's the adjective clause and let's give it the red color great now when we take this adjective clause out like let's put it here let's um, highlight it oh why let's highlight it this way okay fantastic that's it look at this the men with whom we're having discussion forget about the adjective clause right now the men did not seem very friendly that's a correct sentence without the adjective clause the men subject did not seem which is like a verb and that's it fantastic subject verb that's great sentence so there's no problem in the main one but let's analyze together the um, adjective clause we've got with whom whom is a connector and then we've got verb which is where that's a verb but we don't have a subject we have only a connector with whom and then we've got where which is a verb and no subject so this is completely wrong because I cannot have an adjective clause like that with a subject there and whom is not a subject so I say the men with whom we were having the discussion did not seem very friendly again the men with whom we were having the discussion did not seem very friendly so we just needed to add we which is a subject in order to solve this problem okay thank you very much uh, i hope you enjoyed this skill and wait for me inshallah in another skill which is skill number 12 I'll see you inshallah later have a good day assalamu alaikum